that Kraken segment segment <laughs> wrapped up, we head over to our Seattle Rain FC, who got back into action after the international window that we talked about last week to close out the final of three consecutive games on the road. Tough stretch to begin the year for the Rain. They start the season at home. Nice win against Washington. Tough competitive team. Then you play three matches on the road. You throw the international break in there. Not much time to train as a group. You know, you're dealing with some injuries here and there, and you're still trying to get everything put together, you know, have a cohesive group, and you really haven't been able to do that quite yet. On Sunday the 14th, our rain fall to Bay FC on the road. It's Bay FC's first home win in their history. Uh, it's a 3-2 to two result. The rain actually got the scoring started in the 27th minute. Uh, rain defender Lily Woodham sent in a cross from the left side of the pitch. Um at least if you're, you know, the rain and you're going off the field, it's the left side. Uh, Kayla Sharples is credited with an own goal against uh, just some unfortunate bounces against base. Yeah. G leading on to Woodham. Sends early to the backside. Deflects in. Deflects in off Sharples. An own goal. And Seattle leads in the Bay Area. Into these danger areas like Lily Woodham does, it's difficult. Because once you get the centre-backs and the defenders facing their own goal, it's, it's always going to be difficult because it's such a good ball in from Lily Woodham. The Seattle is able to take advantage of that. They go into the half leading by a goal. You think, okay, this is solid. Uh, you didn't play your best half. Truthfully, the rain didn't look super great in that first half. But, they, you know, you have to be happy with the, the leading result. Uh, you go into half. Three minutes into the second half, uh, Bay FC scores. Kayla Sharples, who is credited with the own goal against, is able to put a header home a past Claudia Dickey. Nice by Bay. You know, they had a corner kick. They were able to keep the ball alive. A nice little flick into the box. Sharples has it home. After this goal against, Grain goalkeeper Claudia Dickey uh, needed to be looked at by the uh, medical staff. Um, twisted awkwardly trying to stop that ball. Uh, she had to make a quick turn, but was able to stay in the match, or just did stay in the match, and unable, uh, because in the 58th minute, 10 minutes after that, uh, Alexis Loera uh, had an absolute strike from outside of the rain box. Uh, just a really good shot through tra some traffic, but not too much. A lot of standing around. Uh, Dickey unable to make the save, and immediately after that, she, she had to come out uh, didn't necessarily dive as, as far as maybe she could have. Um, and you could see on the broadcast she was saying to the medical staff, I can't move, which isn't great. So she had to come off two minutes later. Uh, Laurel Ivory comes into the game. Uh, the Rain make a strong push. They are able to score in the 83rd minute to tie it up. Bethany Balser puts home a goal. Uh, some nice build up. Lou Barnes gets the ball up. Emery Adamas puts the ball. No, not Emery Adamas. Uh, the Rain get the ball into the box. Uh, Ji Soyeon is able to control it into the box, bring it down after, you know, there was a contested header, uh, and Bethany Balser puts it home in the 83rd minute. Playing, but still, they're not scoring goals from those areas. Ji brought it down, Balser! Seattle level late in San Jose! Well done, Bethany Bowles. So I was just critical. It was almost on point and on cue when I said they have to chip in with the goals. Other players have to step up. G does all the work here. Bethany Bowles, a fantastic finish in the end. Good ball from Lou Barnes over the top. You can see the runs are there. In the 84th minute, though, Joel Anderson of Bay is able to put home the goal that would put the bay ahead there was a goal disallowed because of offsides that the rain weren't happy about in the post-match press conference head coach laura harvey even had it pulled up on her phone to show that it was on sides uh so i mean that's important because that's points in the standings table um but ultimately the rain unable to take a point from this one they lose all three of the matches on that three consecutive uh, matches on the road they are sitting currently in the 12th spot in the nwsl table only ahead of utah and rivals portland so our player of the match in this one uh, i went with bethany balser a 7.7 .7 match rating 90 minutes played one goal that goal uh gives her 30 in her career 
And with that, um, she becomes the fourth player in club history to record 30 goals all time. Balser is also one of four players in the NWSL to score 30 goals since 2019. Those other players above her uh, with um, the 30 goals, Megan Rapino with 51, just Fishlock with 42, Kim Little with 32, and then now Balser with 30. Um, she had three shots in the match, 55% passing, one chance created, uh, one big chance missed in this one. Um, she had one of her shots blocked and seven touches, seven touches in the opposition box, and then eight passes into the final third. So really helping the rain get into the final third there. Uh, thankfully, we go straight into the injury report against Bay. There's only one player listed on the injury list for the rain. Uh, forward Jordan Heidemann was out. Heidemann had to come out of the, she believes, cup final uh, for Canada with a back injury. And after the match, uh, head coach Laura Harvey did not have an update on her. Speaking about updates, head coach Laura Harvey did not have an update on uh, Claudia Dickey either after the match. Said she hadn't seen her yet. Um, so tough, tough there. I mean, D Dickey's stepped in and been so big for the rain uh, in goal since last season, since essentially taking Fallon Tolos job. Um, I mean, this is tough. This is It's tough to look at you know, just with the lack of the ability to be cohesive for the rain, right? You know, you come in with a few new pieces to begin the season. You win that game against Washington. It's nice, but you still can be better. You can still have better quality play. Um, and they're trying to do that, right? You know, you go on the road, though, for three consecutive matches against uh, some different teams. Chicago, you get the nice goal. You allow a goal late. You make pushes throughout to, to have either – a, a draw or a go forward for a win. You play San Diego, who's a good team. I mean, they won Supporter Shield last year. Um, who won the league, sorry, um, regular season award last year. Um, they're a good team. They they believe that they, you know, uh, deserve better. Uh, and then this Bay team, who's got a lot of talent up and down the board. Um, it's not easy. Not easy, especially considering, you know, you bring all those players back from international break. They're, you know, you're trying to make sure they're healthy coming back from international break and what they did with those respective countries. Um, you haven't had a lot of time to practice together, to train together, to instill what you want to do. So it's there's a lot of different factors that are playing in for the rain right now. They don't want to make that excuse, but that's just the truth of the situation right now. So it's tough. It is tough. Um, but I, I believe in it. I believe in the club. They've always been resilient. They've dealt with stuff in the past before uh, that they shouldn't have had to deal with, but they have. And I believe that's going to be the same case once again. We have two pieces of news uh, for the rain when it comes to team-related news. The first piece of team-related news here is April 11th. The club announced an extension for defender Sofia Huerta. Huerta signed through the 2027 season. Uh, she's in her fourth season with the rain, recording 59 starts in 62 regular season games since joining the club via trade with the Houston Dash back in 2020. Excuse me. This season, Huerta joined Cl uh, goalkeeper Claudia Dickey as the only two players on the team to play all 270 minutes through three games. Uh, in three full seasons with the Reign, Huerta had registered 12 assists, the fifth most in club history. Um, she's also one of 12 players in Reign history to surpass 5,000 regular season minutes played. Since 2021, Huerta leads all Reign players in assists crosses and chances created uh the contract is a two-year contract plus an option year and that option has been exercised um the 31 year old huerta has tallied 31 regular season assists which is tied for the most uh assists in nwsl history along with those assists she's recorded 35 goals establishing her establishing herself i'm sorry as one of the two players with at least 30 goals and 30 assists all time an Idaho, uh, Idaho, native of Idaho, she is also the only player in the league to record at least one goal and two assists in every NWSL season through 2015, uh, between 2015 and 23. Um, through eight full seasons in the league, Huerta has earned either NWSL best 11 first or second team selections a combined five times, which is tied for the sixth most in NWSL history. In the 2022 season, she was named to the NWSL Best 11 first team and was a finalist for Defender of the Year. She stands alone as the only player in league history to earn Best 11 first or second team honors with three different clubs while also playing three different positions. 
Uh, at the international level, Sophia earned her first ever World Cup call up on June 21st, 2023. She's earned a total of 32 caps and four assists with the U.S. Women's National Team after making her debut for the squad on September 15th, 2017. Now, I normally don't include the quotes that come with these, but you, you'll want to hear these from Sophia and uh, general manager uh, Leslie Galmore. Um, Sophie uh, said, you know, I'm excited to sign our extension with the rain since joining the team in 2020. I have felt the support from our fans and I'm looking forward to growing that connection while getting more involved in the community for years. We've seen, we've been a winning team and competed for trophies and I can't wait to continue that with this team. Uh, general manager, Leslie Galmore said, Sophia Huerta has had a notable career in the NWSL here at Seattle rain FC. We are pleased that her foreseeable future is cemented here. Sophia's evolution as a player has been fantastic to watch. And when there's an obstacle or challenge to be met, she does it with a champion's mentality. She's elite in her role on the field and is an empowered leader in the club. I mean, that's it's pretty good um, praise there from your general manager. And it's, it's, it's absolutely right. Sophia has just been a massive part of this club since being acquired. Uh, you know, I remember one of my first inter interviews ever was with Sophia and they had Je they, I had asked her about playing as an outside back. Um, this was before the rain really moved her there full time. And since then, she's just done really well with the club. So it's been really fun um, to see her grow into that role and be such a big part of this club. On Friday, the 12th, keeping up with the news here, the rain and King five media group announced the broadcast partnership for the 2024 season. Um, the Rain will have 11 regular season games air on Kong TV and stream for free on the King 5 Plus app throughout the course of the 24 season. Uh, kicking off this week uh, with the match against Bay FC, uh, fans can tune into Kong TV to watch Rain FC take on expansion side Bay FC. Yep, there's that mentioned. Um, hmm. Just because it's funny because, you know, at Circling Sales Sports, we pride ourselves in our coverage of the club. So, you know, there's quotes in here about coverage from other folks about the team. And I don't know how I feel about that. Um, well, well, we'll go with this. Uh, Seattle Rain FC CEO Vincent Berthelot, we're thrilled to establish a partnership with King 5 this season and provide our fans with exclusive Rain FC content. Uh, we look forward to team. Nope, not reading that part. Uh, <laughs> among the 11 regular season matches this season, King five media group will have local broadcast rights to six home and five away games, including the rain's next three games as the official local broadcast partner of the club. King five will also provide fans with special access to post game coverage, exclusive interviews with rain FC coaches and players and deliver unique web and social media content. Yeah, I hope so. Um, so here's the official list of that. Um, the Seattle Rain games available on Kong TV and King 5 Plus app in 2024. There's that Bay FC match we started. Uh, the next home match, Seattle Rain FC versus Chicago, Sunday, April 21st uh, at North Carolina in the Courage on April 27th versus Kansas City and the Current on May 8th. May 19th versus the Orlando Pride. Uh, May 24th at the Washington Spirit. June 9th at the Kansas City Current. Uh, June 23rd versus Racing Louisville. July 7th versus the Utah Royals, September 21st at the Houston Dash, and then September 29th versus Bay FC. That'll wrap things up for our rain segment of the show. The rain sit a day. Oh, goodness. It's it's tough. <laughs> Just seeing the club right now. You know, they've, uh, it, as I mentioned, it's been tough for them, but, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I feel confident in their ability to be able to bounce back. So the Reigns had a one win, zero draw, three loss record. They're at 12th in the end of cell table right now with just three points on the season. Uh, looking ahead, their next match, as I mentioned, April 21st, that's Sunday, versus the Chicago Red Stars at 3 o'clock Pacific time at Lumen Field. You know, of course, as always, if you can make it, I encourage you to go in person, support the crowd, support the match. Um, in person but of course you know if you're not able to and you have to watch it from home you've got those broadcast streaming options so that hey charles hey jen hey we're gonna watch all the away games for seattle rain fc this year away games uh well since rough and tumble is the home of circling seattle sports i was thinking of coming here if that's okay with you i think that makes a lot of sense see y'all here <laughs> <laughs>